Hello everyone, in this video I will explain the things related to the rate analysis basics actually. Uh, how the lead is calculated, how the basic rates can be calculated for the specific material. Okay, that will be used for the road construction. Okay, it might be a GSB or fine sand, cement, steel, all things I will just brief you. Okay, how they are calculating the rates. Okay, first thing. To start with rate analysis, you have to get the SOR, nothing but schedule of rates from the concerned department, PWD department. If you are, if it is in UP, you have to collect it from there or Andhra Pradesh or Telangana, whatever. Uh, near to that uh, district uh, PWD headquarters, you have to go and you have to collect the schedule of rates or else you can download it if it is available. Okay. So, that is the basic thing. See, I will show how it looks. See, this is the one schedule of rates. This is for 2020. Okay. See, schedule of rates. Okay. Main Puri. See, here in this cartridge. Cartridge is nothing but this uh, lead distance related information. See, chapter 1, chapter 3, cartridges. See, this is for conquer coal, grid, how much we have to consider as a lead. Okay. So, this you have to uh, check it and you have, I think most of the companies might have prepared this and you have to update according to the year. Okay. So, this is the old one. See, 95. This is around 2017 and 18. But uh, this is around 2020. Can you see? 100.70. Le lead has been changed. Okay. Rate. Okay, rate has been changed so uh, this column you have to update as per the year so this is the first thing before that uh, you have to collect it from the de concerned department okay so once it is done see here this is serial number one next this is description number this is for cement steel stone bricks and pipes this will vary because these are different and uh, these are different okay so here only they have given so you see this is for the normal thing and then uh, we'll go for the bitumen bitumen also they have given okay these also should be updated as per the current year okay then once this lead statement has been completed you have to prepare a lead chart lead chart i will show how it looks uh, see see okay Suppose your alignment starting point and ending point road project road project is a and b Okay, so it is around 60 kilometer. Okay length length wise. So normally Normally hot mix plant Shall be kept in midpoint of these two. Okay. This is a just a basic uh, consideration Okay, so midpoint of the once the hot mix plant location has been finalized, we have to calculate the lead. Okay, lead is nothing but distance from the material to the plant. Okay, so how much distance it is there that you have to calculate that uh, that is nothing but lead. This lead can be multiplied with the rate, rate given in the schedule of rates. Okay, so suppose normally how many materials there are and around 10 to 15 main important materials are required for the road construction. So one is GSB and then fine sand and coarse sand from the nearby river. Okay, after that cement, steel and then bitumen and emulsions. Okay, and uh, PVC pipes. There are uh, so many materials. So the for each material you have to calculate the lead distance. So suppose if GSB, okay, GSB quarry is available from see see here okay from normally suppose here it is it should be 30 meters from a okay so from here it is around 25 so total lead that road should be proper because truck movement should be there in that road so we can't go directly uh, shortcut route so we should follow the some uh, formal uh, route okay so 25 plus 30 total lead is for gfc is 55 kilometer okay 
that's it like this you have to calculate for each type of material so once this lead calculated for each material we'll go to that excel sheet okay see now so this is lead statement now we have to go to the lead chart lead chart you just have a look how it has been calculated see so metal gsb and uh, uh, metals and gsb gsb so here can you see length of project is around 67 kilometers midpoint is 34 kilometer that is location from of hot mix plant from start of the project okay now quarry to kanpur quarry quarry distance that is 131 kilometers then kanpur to midpoint midpoint nothing but this one okay so it is around 234 kilometers total lead for gsp so now 234 is the lead distance okay kilometers we need to calculate the lead cost how to calculate go to lead statement just have a look if suppose one kilometer it will be 95 rupees okay second kilometer 22.7 we have to add it 95 plus 22.7 okay so it is around 117 cumulative it should be cumulative so ours is 234 right so we should select this one how much range can you see up to 200 kilometers 1698 rupees will be the cost so then remaining how much that is 34 34 how much 34 for 34 this is in the range right 201 so 250 so per kilometer how much 6 rupees so 34 into 6 that is what they calculated it is around 204 so total amount is 1902 rupees okay so like this you have to calculate for the each and every material first lead distance then cost cartridge cost okay <coughs> then fine sand this is uh, normally we'll get it from the rivers so how much from quarry to midpoint okay it's around 34 35 kilometers directly so 35 kilometers go to lead statement how much 35 kilometers can you see 485 441 you just have a look how much lead statement? it's 35 it's 35 this this one this one okay 441 then 5 kilometers how much this is 8.8 .8 into into 5 kilometers okay now we got 485.60 directly you can add it or else you can calculate it by fair kit okay so once that is done for a fine sand same for coarse sand coarse sand how much 189 kilometers same this is the process step by step okay then for bituminous bituminous normally uh, will get from the iocl's uh, refineries mathura and somewhere very few locations are there so that will be a huge lead okay so like this you have to calculate once you calculated the lead cost nothing but cartage cost we have to calculate the material cost okay how see there are separate sheets this is for sand this is for steel and cement pipes bituminous aggregate okay so these are the separate sheets so first go to the sand one so how much this is fine sand normally base rate per cumac it is around 900 rupees per cumac and gst added subtotal is 945 for this 945 rupees we have to add a lead charges that is a uh, how much 486 how we got it from the lead chart here this one okay 485.60 round figure so 486 total how much 1431 rupees okay this is the basic calculation for the rate <coughs> nothing but rate analysis for the materials say similarly for the coarse sand 
course and also normal basic rate and then GST after that we have to add a lead charges how much 1622 rupees how you got it from the lead chart here can you see 1621 because lead distance is very high 189 kilometers so from lead statement we got 189 for 189 kilometers how much can you see like this from here they calculated okay so sand is calculation is that's it then steel and cement steel and cement also same okay these are including gst values so no need to add this and then lead charges lead charges are are same for the different types okay so 534 how you got it a lead chart from lead chart go to that lead chart where steel can you see lead is 103 kilometers so how much this cost is 534 rupees so 534 has been added here total is 44,934 okay per ton okay so like this you have to calculate for cement also so once you calculate uh, steel and cement pipes also same okay and then bitumen also same we have to add those lead charges for the basic rates okay once this is done you have to link this you have to link these values whatever the final cost okay final cost should be linked to the our cost estimate file okay whatever the cost estimate file is there based on the typical cross sections okay that should be linked with the total cost of these materials then only proper cost estimate should be uh, developed okay otherwise if your rate analysis itself wrong so uh, uh, bidding uh, lower biddings may occur something very it will it, it will create a problem so rate analysis is very very important tool okay first you have to calculate the lead distances then you have to prepare a lead chart with the uh, for a specific material how much distance and uh, from the schedule of rates you have to calculate the you have to calculate the total cost okay so then once the lead chart is prepared you have to prepare a separate sheet for the each and every type of material that will be used in a construction sand cement steel pipes okay all all for all materials you have to create a separate sheet once it is created so like this once it is created this total cost should be linked to the cost estimate file okay then only proper cost estimate should be uh, shall be developed okay i hope you understood the basic concept of rate analysis okay uh, thanks for watching please subscribe my channel